Well, we've heard rumors that the Teen Titans are coming to the DCU, but now James Gunn has seemed to confirm not only might we see the Titans in the DCU, but they definitely have some plans for one of their biggest villains. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about Deathstroke in the DCU, what James Gunn had to say, and why all the clues pointing to this character showing up somewhere. Now, before we do that though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently, so you are in the know. Well, one of DC Comics' most popular franchises has to be Teen Titans. The Teen Titans, or the Titans as they're called sometimes, have a huge history in DC Comics, and although they originated as kind of a group of sidekicks, they've evolved into so much more. Now, we've got a couple of cartoons in the recent live-action series, but back in March, we actually learned that Anna Nogura, who was at the time working on the Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow script, had been tapped to write a screenplay for Teen Titans. Now, it's all really juicy recently over on a conversation on threads, and as many of you know, Gunn is pretty active on social media and interacts with fans quite a bit, giving clues and shooting down rumors. Now, DC Studios co-CEO was simply asked about the rumors that Teen Titans was going to start shooting in late 2024, and although the Superman Helmer has yet to confirm the project is actually in development, he did respond with a simple no leading many fans to read a bit into that because it wasn't a denial of the project, and quite honestly, Gunn is usually pretty quick to slap down things that aren't true. Now, within this conversation, it led to a lot of other questions, and one of them about one of the Titans' most notable villains. Now, the Titans have some pretty big villains like Trigon and the Brotherhood of Evil, but one of the most popular mainstream villains on their slate is Destro. He is considered widely as one of the DC Universe's greatest assassins, and has been a staple of Titans comics since the Perez Wolfman days, and a big part of the animated and live action versions. We even had Joe Manganiello show up at the end of Justice League for a cameo a few years ago, so fans have been anxiously waiting for the character to come to life. Now, one of those fans asked James Gunn for just a little hint maybe a wink, at the possibility that Destro was coming to the DCU, and Gunn responded. Yeah, he asked for a wink, and he got one directly from Gunn. Now this opens the door to a lot of questions, mainly being, is this a Deathstroke solo project? Is he going to be a villain in another movie? And if so, what movie would he appear in? Now, on the agenda for the DC Universe, there's quite a few places, and not just the Teen Titans. Now, if I was picking any place, the Titans would be the place I would go, but I would not put it beyond the possibility that Slade Wilson shows up as part of the Brave and the Bold. Despite his long history facing off with the Titans, him and Batman have come head to head several times. And actually, the original Scrap Ben Affleck movie was set to see the two face off with Joe Manganiello once again taking up the role. As recently as last February, as a matter of fact, Manganiello talked a little bit about the character and even said, and I quote, James Gunn is my buddy and James and I had conversations about it because Jim Lee over at DC Comics wanted me to create a graphic novel series based on the screenplay that I wrote for the Deathstroke origin film. When they were dismantling the DCEU, that went to the wayside as well. Jim read it, and I wanted it to be a graphic novel series, but no one could assure me that if it garnered the attention of directors and producers, that I couldn't be attached. So I had to let it go. James Gunn was just like, let it go. Now, Gunn suggesting to him as recently as February, over a year after Gunn took over the DCU, that there might actually be plans in place for the character. Now, whether Joe gets to the part, well, that's a big question, and Gunn is pretty well known for doing his own casting and quite honestly nailing the characters to near perfection. He did a great job with Guardians of the Galaxy, and everything we tell so far with the Superman film seems to be pretty spot on. So whether Joe Manganiello actually returned as the character, that's totally up in the air, but I'm pretty sure Gunn would consider it if that fit the version of the character he was developing for film. Now, obviously, nothing's confirmed for Deathstroke outside of this little wink from Gunn. Many of us want to see the character come to life. He is, honestly, not only one of the coolest characters in DC history, but the kind of villain many fans identify with, and one of those DC characters that has absolutely amazing merchandising capabilities. So I would love to see him come to life and bring more mainstream moviegoers into the fandom. I really think a solo project focused on Deathstroke, an origin story that sees him not face off with villains, but some of the darker forces inside the DC universe that tend to manipulate some of these villains. I could totally see him coming face to face with Amanda Waller, and since we have such a huge footprint with the Suicide Squad and Creature Commandos, as well as Waller getting her own series, well, all those threads are great places for Wilson to land. If that actually happens, we're gonna have to wait and see.